what is going on beautiful people i hope you guys are doing well so if you haven't already heard about the incident that happened at mall of america in minnesota a few weeks ago a man named paul shore was approached by mall security and people were offended and felt the need to complain to mall security about his t-shirt and his t-shirt said jesus saves and jesus is the only way so i'm gonna play the video clip it's about two minutes long and afterwards we'll discuss it some more you shop here you need to take that shirt off what is wrong what is wrong what is what is what is wrong with my t-shirt again sir it is religious soliciting there is no soliciting allowed on law property which is private property okay so again we've had yes no talks so, exactly. What, what is wrong with you? Take it off the shop, man. That's all we want. No, I, I'm a citizen. I know the Constitution. But you, you were last time, time, you were last, time the last time I was here, they told me to leave for 24 hours. I did. Yes. That day, I was preaching. Yeah, I was preaching the gospel that day. Yeah. You're, you're still soliciting. And again, I'm walking. Yes, you're walking wearing that shirt in the form of soliciting, and we've had guests come up saying that they've been offended by your shirt. Who we'll say that? We've had guests come up and say you've been offended. So, like this gentleman just said too, take the shirt off and you can go shopping. That's as simple. Sorry. Or thinking. I will be forced to thinking. Clear. And I don't want to do that. What did I do? So, as you guys heard in the video, he was being accused of religiously soliciting. And in the video, he also mentioned that prior to this incident, on a different occasion, he was issued a 24 hour trespass for soliciting because he was preaching the gospel and spreading the word. But in this case, he was not preaching, he was not spreading the gospel. All he was doing was walking around like everybody else. This man did not do anything wrong. He was not soliciting. He was not preaching. He was not forcing his faith onto anybody. He was wearing a t-shirt that said, Jesus saves. Jesus is the only way. And because people felt offended, they felt the need that he should either leave or take off his shirt. People can wear t-shirts with satanic symbolism on them. People can wear t-shirts with rainbows that represent the alphabet community. The media can mock Christ day in and day out. Hollywood and celebrities can blaspheme Christ. They can mock Christ day in and day out. And that's okay. That gets a pass. But when you stand up for Christ, when you're a follower of Christ, you will be persecuted. In Matthew 5, 11, it says that you will be persecuted for my name's sake and people will falsely accuse you for his name. That is going to happen when you stand up for Christ. You have people who are literally dying for the faith. You have people in other countries who have died for standing up for Christ. You have law enforcement in other countries who have slaughtered people for being a Christian. So persecution will come. This is just the beginning. This man was not soliciting. What crime did he commit? I thought we were able to practice freedom of religion. I thought there was freedom of speech. But as you can see, freedom of speech and freedom of religion don't apply to followers of Christ. People get angry when they hear the name Christ. People's demons come out. People get infuriated. They get outraged. They get angry. They call you hateful when you're not being hateful. They falsely accuse you of things when all you're doing is telling the truth. Even when you stand up for your faith, you become the bad guy. Meanwhile, you have the media, you have Hollywood, you have all these evil agendas being pushed in our face. You have all these people who mock Christ day in and day out, 
in the media, in Hollywood, in movies and TV shows. The mockery, the blaspheming day in and day out. But once you stand up for your, your faith, it's a problem. You become the bad guy. This man did nothing wrong. So this man can't walk around with a Jesus Saves t-shirt. But you have people who walk around with t-shirts with the rainbow on it. People that have t-shirts that represent the alphabet community. People can walk around with satanic t-shirts. But this man can't have a Jesus Saves t-shirt on what crime is he committing did he harass anybody did he force his faith onto anybody what did he do wrong are you ready for the persecution are you ready to stand firm in your faith are you ready to stand up for Christ because the persecution is going to come this is just the beginning. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and against the rulers of darkness of this world. Are you ready? And I know a lot of us are focused on praying for, you know, more blessings. But I also want you to pray for boldness make sure you have the armor of god because you don't know what you're going to deal with when you leave your house you don't know what you're going to deal with when you're out and about you don't know if persecution is going to come your way you don't know what demon you're going to upset you don't know who's going to be angry because of your faith are you ready are you ready to stand up for your faith. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.